Them students told me about their spring break. They went from San Antonio to Orlando, Florida. One of the students decided to keep track of the trip as they went. Started a stopwatch when, when they left at time zero. They had traveled a distance of zero miles. So she was looking at the uh, odometer to find out how, how far they had traveled. She was looking at the stopwatch to see how much time they had traveled. When they got near to Houston, she noticed that they had been traveling for four hours, that they had traveled a distance of 200 miles. She was e either busy or talking to her friends or sleeping for the, for the next few hours um, until they got near to Tallahassee, Florida. At that point, she noticed that they had been traveling for 14 hours and that the distance they had traveled was 775 miles. Her last entry was made shortly before they got into Orlando. She noticed they had been traveling for 19 hours and that the total distance they had traveled up to then was 1,100 miles. Now at this point, there's a lot of average rates of change that can be calculated. We could calculate the average rate of change or the miles per hour that they were going on average between San Antonio and Orlando. We could find the average rate of change between San Antonio and Houston, between San Antonio and Tallahassee. We could find the average rate of change between Houston and Tallahassee, between Houston and Orlando, between Tallahassee and Orlando. That's your challenge at this point. Calculate the miles per hour, the average miles per hour, average rate of change for those six different combinations.